here this morning here with Xavier Dersma. Ders, nice to lock away another two years on your contract there. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, it's great to be back at the club, you know, for another two years, and I'm very excited to, you know, get the chance to be here for some more. So I'm um, loving it so far, and thought, I'd, you know, the club and I came to a bit of a decision, and yeah, happy to be here. It's nice as well to, to get those contracts sorted with the other group of young guys yeah. as well. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, all of us boys have been playing some games together and, you know, Jake has been probably just been a little bit injured, but he's had a really strong pre-season and shown some really good signs as well. But um, all the rest of, you know, Joel, Zach and uh, Connor as well have all been showing some strong signs of their, their form this year. So, you know, it's a good time to, to get on board. And I think so, yeah, the club's done, I think I've done a good job played every game this year so far. How have you felt you've found your feet at AFL level? Um, I think, you know, it's obviously not easy. You, you know, it's good fun though. Um, just trying to learn and, you know, you've got all the older boys that you can ask questions about, all the coaches are there to help you. It's, it's obviously not easy. You have your ups and downs and, um, you know, it's, it is some parts challenging, but obviously the reward at the end of the day is, um, is great and you know, getting to run out there every week so far has been fantastic and I can't, you know, thank the club enough for, for giving me that, those opportunities. On the weekend, played in your first winning showdown. How was that feeling? Yeah, it was pretty pretty amazing. So going into the you know Crows home crowd, um, you know you know we knew there was going to be a pretty hostile environment. So we made sure that we tried to take their crowd out of it early. But um, you know it didn't start happening until about the third quarter. But yeah, you know, we got there in the end. It was a really good win. So it was great. Young guys were really involved in the, the win as well. Connor and, and Bussy kicking a few goals. Yep. Nice to get around those guys and see the youth having an influence. Yeah, as well. yeah, it is for sure. Because you know, I think one thing that us, us young boys bring is a bit of excitement and energy. So, you know, if we can bring that to the rest of the group, then that just helps you know immensely. And um, you know, if we can do that, then that's our that's our bit helping the team every week. So, it's good fun seeing those boys get onto some goals. Hopefully, I can as well instead of kicking points all the time. So. This week when uh, we're back at home, technically a home game against the Lions, what are yep. you looking forward to from the crowd and, the, and the, what the Lions will bring? Oh, I can't wait to see, see everyone out there again. Uh, I know the loyal Ports of Boyles will be out there and give us a bit of support on the Sunday. So um, hopefully we can bring out some good footy and, and get the Lions done. But yeah, just looking forward to seeing the crowd at its normal, normal um, you know, area and lots of noise to be made. So yeah. Last one, uh, in the sample on the weekend, Marty Frederick went. It was a very good yeah. goal. The bow and arrow at the end. What, what do you rate his celebration out of? Uh, I rated it ten because uh, the, the morning of it, it was my birthday on Sunday, and he messaged me to say happy birthday. And uh, he said if he kicks a goal, he'd do my do the arrow celebration. So uh, I was very very impressed with it. Yeah.